Hi everyone. From time to time, I'm phoning technical at the controls company Danforth, Drayton and Honeywell Home Residio. And then I ask them, what's the top three phone calls you get from end users, which I will get to later. And also, what's the top three you get from installers? And would you believe it's about that valve? The mid position Y plan. The wiring is wrong, which I'm going to show you, and also the way it's been set up lack of an automatic bypass, which installers still flat refuse, even though it's compulsory, and more importantly, lack of inhibitor to keep the pipes clean and make the pump lubricated. But there's another wiring fault. In fact, there are two. One is the grey wire, installers get that wrong, and electricians I'm including as well. And the other one is about low voltage boiler ignition. And that could mean 50 volts AC and the boiler fires up in the middle of the night, middle of the afternoon, whenever it feels like it. So I'm going to tackle that in another separate video because I've been talking to Honeywell Residio technical department to make sure that everything in the video that I've made uh, is correct and it's hopefully going to save lots of phone calls to them and the other technical people which takes up time. So look forward to that. So if you'd like to like and subscribe my channel there's comments down below and let's watch a little preview of what's coming up and then you'll be notified on the wiring and the most popular fault technical received. So take care, enjoy. So when it comes to the pipe work, as we can see on one slide, as the mid position valve is placed, a, a short pipe, 22 mil, goes to the cylinder flow with an air vent, as you can see here on the drawing, because we need to remove the air as the valve is filling. So we need to move the motor over to the manual setting to allow the air bubbles and of course the water to fill up and it needs an escape route and that's when this half inch BSP automatic air vent, the brass one there, gets rid of the air. But of course on the other side of the valve, which is the A side, goes to the radiators, A as in rads. And that elbow needs an automatic air vent, the same as the other side, obviously. So the quicker we can remove the air, the sooner we finish and we don't get the blockages and the problems. And don't forget as well as this is we have to put our inhibitor in. And I always recommend two bottles in a system for a three bedroom semi. So if we can keep the pressure to one bar, because that's all it needs, we avoid this. The valve seizes up after a few years. High pressure means problems. By fitting an automatic bypass and keeping the pressure at one bar, we've got a happy system that can quite easily last 10 years instead of the normal four, five, six, which is what we get. We've still got our special offer that if you buy both books, they're just £40, no VAT, includes postage and packing, and it's only available to UK postcodes.